Welcome to Golden Heights, the richest and safest place in town. Looks fancy. People who live here, I mean nothing bad at- oh my goodness. What happened? I'm Katie, and this man's my husband. I took our kids out of town and my parents for the week. But we rushed back as soon as you called. Huh, this means one of the servants attacked your husband. Let's question them. So the maid was cleaning the whole house. She looks happy. It was gonna take the whole week. You know, big house. Anyway, she was so tired that she just went to bed early. What about the gardener? He was busy all day, watering the flowers. When he went home for dinner, Evan was fine with a glass of wine. And the cook said he didn't leave the kitchen at all. He said Evan only gave him two hours. Two hours to make dinner for the whole family. Man, that's pushing it. The policeman made the arrest. So, who did he arrest? He arrested the cook. Yeah guys, Evan wouldn't ask him to make food for the whole family. Cause Katie and the kids were out of town. Ooh, the chef busted. Luckily, Evan was fine. Just a cool bandage on this head. But his family was so worried. His daughter Sarah went to a beauty salon. You know, to relax a bit. Cause her dad got whacked on the head. Sarah felt completely safe. So much so she even fell asleep during her manicure. And a boop. And when she woke up her wallet was gone. Sarah called the police immediately. The salon workers were scared. They said they didn't see the thief. A policeman examined the salon and spotted the criminal. So, do you see her? Which lady is the criminal? I see her. She's got three wallets? I don't think so. She's the thief for sure. Sarah called her boyfriend to come get her. It had been so traumatic. So Jacob rushed over. He's gonna be a great boyfriend. He drove so fast. Right in the middle of the road, what's he doing? And a whoa! He almost got into an accident. A car pulled out in front of me. We almost crashed, but I swerved just in time. The other guy crashed into a lamppost. Ooh, that guy's pissed. He took one look at my expensive car, and, you know, he just said it was all my fault. I should pay for everything. Well, oh, that's not fair at all. I was driving really carefully. My wife and I were talking about our vacation. Anyway, now we can't go anywhere, and it's all because of you. I can prove it was his fault. Do you know how? So his car was empty. Where's his wife? Ooh, that means he was talking to his wife on the phone. Naughty, naughty man. That's totally illegal. That's right it is. Boom, busted. Sarah and Jacob went to their friend's party. Probably it's gonna be awesome. Lily was turning 18. The party was awesome. I called it. Look at that guy bounce. But Lily felt that something was wrong. Suddenly, the music got quiet and the lights went out. When they came back on, 
Lily was lying on the floor. Congratulations! So no one had come in or out of the room. Luckily, a student, future Detective Kevin, questioned the witnesses. I was cutting the cake. I didn't see anything. I was answering the phone. I was filling up the champagne glasses. I didn't notice anything. So guys, who hurt Lily? And on her 18th birthday, not cool. Footprints busted. It was this guy. He's the criminal. Man, rookie mistake, footprints. So Kate told her parents about the party. Mm. This is not gonna go well. They were oh. mad. I bet. Kate told them not to worry. Lily was fine. Nothing happened. She just hit her head a bit. But still, you know, mm. guys, parents. The next day, Kate got home like five minutes late. I mean, no biggie, right? Whatever, five minutes. But still, her mm. father freaked. He told the butler. Don't let Kate out of the house until tomorrow morning. And the next morning it is. Kate's father asked if she went out last night. The butler said Kate spent the night in the mansion. She didn't go out. But the father looked at Kate's wardrobe. Hmm. What did he see? The hmm. butler was lying. Was he lying or he just didn't know? So how did that guy know that the butler was lying? Look for the clues, guys. The belt lock's hanging on the other side. Not like yesterday. Kate did leave the house. Ooh, naughty, naughty Kate. Kate's father told the story mm. to his friend, Terrence. Yeah, like, you gotta be careful. Liars and cheaters everywhere. Like, one time my friend Maurice almost lost all his money. He, like, put it all into a poker game. And, of course, he lost. I mean, it even made it on the news. Look, I'm pointing to it over and over again. They posted a photo of him and the other players on their website. Uh-oh. I saw it and I told Maurice that the game was totally rigged. He had to get mm. revenge, man. So guys, how did Terrence know that the game was rigged? Boom, there's a mirror above the fireplace. That's how they knew. The other guys could see Maurice's cards. Three aces, not bad though. And a cat for some reason. Maurice didn't want to tell his wife. Because she'd be mad. She didn't know he liked to gamble. <gasps> Slap. <clears throat> and again a cat for no reason. So he decided to stage a robbery. Ooh, great idea. When his wife came home, she found him unconscious on the table. Maurice woke up and said that he was writing a letter. <sighs> then he was attacked from behind, boom, and lost consciousness. His wife didn't believe him. Mm. Why not? Yeah, this one's so simple. Guys, the pen has a cap on it. Obvious flaw. Maurice wasn't even writing a letter when he was attacked. And a cat. Mm. Maurice confessed to the whole thing. Oh. But his wife turned to the police. Ooh, harsh. She proved that Maurice was tricked in the poker game. 
Then she banned him from playing cards ever again. Ouch. She said he could do some charity work instead. Not so much fun. So they found several posts online. There were two big families. They said they needed money. But which family is actually poor? And which one is rich? Uh -oh. Look, they have a coat of arms on the pram. Those guys are loaded with cash. <sighs> Horrible family. Hey, have you ever volunteered or done any kind of charity work? Tell us in the comments.